Coventry United TV highlights are proudly sponsored by Coventry Motorcycles and Scooters, a family-run business providing an extensive range of new and used scooters plus 125cc motorcycles, also stocking a wide selection of helmets, protective clothing and accessories. For more information, contact Roy on 02476 440011, email Roy at coventrymotorcycles.co.uk or head on down to their new location at 288 Walsgrave Road, Coventry, CV2. 4BL. Nice little one two of Aaron Wint. Glasgow tries to find Wint. Good block made by Palmer. Now it's with Brady. Punted forward looking for Callum Parker on that left hand side. Parker tries to take on Kyle Barnett. Not an easy task. Play right down line. Lovely opportunity now for AFC Wolfrunia. He's headed towards goal and headed wide. Kyle Brady should have easily nodded that one home. Let's flash wire that far post. And the first big chance of the match goes begging for AFC Wolfrunians. He's looking for Winter, believe. A poker was there too. He couldn't find him. It's intercepted well by Ryan Quinn. Quinn's still going. It's still Quinn. Force towards the right hand side. Into the penalty area now, Ryan Quinn. Puts it in towards Aaron Apoku and flicked over the crossbar. <laughs> Once well, it's after Wolfrudians register their first shot, United get theirs. But like Wolfrudians, it's not on target. He's still going into Wolfrudians' territory. Teammates make themselves available now into the centre circle with Moose option out wide. For Kyle Barnett. Wint plays it forward to Barnett. Squares it for Glasgow, can he strike? He can, it's over the crossbar. Great effort from Tommy Glasgow from the edge of the penalty area. And a brilliant counter attack from the Red and Greens. Glasgow picks up in the centre circle, starts it forward looking for a Poku, only as far as Ray. Musa makes the interception. Quinn back to Musa. Plenty of space that one for Craig Reed. Reed's found him, sort the best of balls outside the play up. But Craig Reed, an ambitious effort and a pretty good one as well, but not on target. Still haven't seen a shot on target in the opening half an hour, but that was probably the best chance of the game. And a swung in towards Rob Prinzel. Prinzel's header. It was the far post for Craig Reed. Reed back in towards Brad Jones. It's into the ground. But Carl Barnett, crucial chance made by Bevans. Still danger has not subsided. Quinn towards Apoku. Barnett's header. Brad Jones charged down. And the goalkeeper tries to jump onto that one, but it's cleared before he can do so. It's Quinn again. Musa. Ryan Quinn. Pass the defender. Dangerous header falls to Carl Barnett at the far post. And a crucial catch by Bateman. As it dipped below that crossbar. Persistency from Coventry United very nearly paying off. Three attempts at getting that ball in. The third one was nearly fruitful for Carl Barnett after a pretty woeful header from the Wolfrunians defender. Gave it straight to Barnett. But he headed it up rather than forwards. And Bateman was able to catch it and retain his clean sheet for now. He's found Lewis Hudson. Quinn's in support. Hudson tries to cut in. Craig Reed on the edge of the area. It's Reed. Parried away well by Bateman with a clearance. Nearly fell to Poku. Williams. And five yards outside the box. Out wide to Osborne. Harrison wants it out wide. Here is Harrison. Overlap being made by Osborne. Harrison goes for the cross himself and a crucial head away by Prinzel. But Brody Williams and well set with a leg of Brandon somehow. Brady's put it over the crossbar, but it wouldn't have mattered anyway. The flag's been raised on the far side. And well, Fruity is catching United by surprise at the start of the second half. It's all guns blazing for the Wolves. There goes corner. And then somehow over the goal from about three yards by Tom Ray. Well, that's probably why he's not playing up front. <laughs> The chance of the game at AFC Wolfrudians. And of all people to fall to, it was the centre back Tom Ray. 
And now it's Wolfrunians on the attack with Harrison. Cuts in from the right hand side. It's Harrison. Can he get the shot away? He can! Yeah. It's an old into the bottom corner! Yeah. A lovely strike and a knee slide by Harrison to celebrate! Well, you can't say that goal wasn't coming. Wolfrunians have been far the better team in this second half. You had to register their first shot, the second period, until two minutes ago. And Harrison, who has probably been Wolfrunian's best player, had only one thing in mind there, got the ball, cut in, saw that bottom corner. Goal and goal tonight, it. timed at 74 minutes. Tonight's goal and goal timed at 74 minutes. So with just 15 minutes to go, at Castlecroft Stadium, Coventry United are in trouble. It's 1-0 to AFC Wolfrunians. So what a poku. Once again, the rain working against United. Sorry, the wind, I should say. It's put through for Harrison. No offside flag. It's Harrison. And a fantastic save. Two hands to it from Brayton. And Brayton asking, where was the flag? Harrison was onside. And United had no answer to him. It was only the heroics of James Brayton to keep Harrison from scoring again. And with five minutes to go, United are trying to pile on some pressure, but is it too little too late? It looks to be at the moment as Wolfrey has pushed up looking for a second. McDonald, can he get the ball in from that right-hand side? He can, but it's well to slide the ball away. It's only as far as Brady, and just where this near post, a corner is given. So it's taking a touch off Bayern on the way through. Free kick into the area. Bounces around the area. Surely that will come to United. Oh, it's over the crossbar. It's a save. It's a save by Bateman. I couldn't see who it was who got onto it. Was it Prinzel? There was a sea of bodies in there. I couldn't see who made the final contact. It looks like Bateman's tipped it over. <laughs> Dramatic finale at Castlecroft. Does this story have one final twist? Corner's put in, and it's heard away easily, and no it does not. For the third successive time, AFC Wolfrunians are Coventry United's undoing. They beat them at Swing Drive, they beat them at Castle Cup last season, and now Wolfrunians have beaten United for a third successive time, and inflict a first league defeat on the Red and Greens this campaign. Kick off is at 7.45. Second half belongs to Wolfrunians. They kept United relatively quiet for the majority of the final 45 minutes and a well taken goal by Jordan Harris on CTV, man of the match, proves to be the deciding factor. At a wet, cold and windy Castlecross Stadium, Coventry United's unbeaten record in the league is gone. The final score, AFC Wolfrunians 1, Coventry United 0. Thank you.